Praxis and I'm here on site and today my dad is over and he's helping me to put up all these floor joists. You can see behind you there are all these horizontal beams up at the top and that's going to be what the floorboards are going to rest uh, down on top of. The way that this structure is being put up in a post and beam style, all those are going to be exposed so you're going to see the nice uh, beams uh, going across the ceiling. I like that look. You know, some people like to kind of cover that stuff up. I like seeing that kind of exposed sort of surface. Uh, things have been going pretty well today. The goal for the end of the day is to try to get all of those uh, floor joists up because that way if, um, well, when I come back next time and my dad's not here to help, I'll be able to start putting up floorboards. Putting up these floor joists is a two-person job because one person has to hold one side, one person kind of holds the other side. You get the things up with two people. I, I guess you, with machinery and pulleys and things, you can probably manage a way of doing it with one person, but it's much easier to have two people. So we're trying to, that's our goal, to get that done by the end of the day. The only thing that's been a bit of a challenge <clears throat> has been uh, kind of the, the theoretical idea of, you know, what, you know, boards are, like, you know, they're straight dimensional pieces of lumber, and then, like, the reality of what, you know, the lumber actually is. You know, it doesn't always have perfectly square edges. You know, they're rounded. There's splinters that come up. They're not always straight. Sometimes they bend. Sometimes there's a twist to them, and that's kind of been the thing that now that we're starting to kind of Inter, uh, interlock a lot of these different uh, pieces, you know, like the, the floor joists uh, inter, uh, interconnect with the uh, these vertical uh, posts over here uh, that were, you know, when things are twisted, you kind of have to kind of, you, you have to work with them. Here's an example right here of the sill, uh, the sill plate. And these sill plates, uh, like up on the back, are a lot like this. They're not totally flat. If you look, here's totally flat. And there's a difference between the middle. I mean, that's like, that's like almost a quarter inch right there that things are cupped. You know, the sun comes out, it heats things up, they expand. You know, there's, uh, there was rain the other day. So like maybe the bottom side is kind of, actually I can feel it on this one. The bottom side is wet, the top side is dry. You know, so the bottom side's expanded out with all of that moisture. Uh, you know, so things are bowing. And it's a bit of a challenge working between the, um, you know, the theoretical of, you know, the way things fit together. You know, you have a flat board and another flat board goes on top of it. But then when you get into the real world where that's not necessarily a flat board, it's kind of cupped, that's been a little bit challenging where we had, had to kind of like, uh, you know, nail in one side of something and then kind of pull it down and, and uh, pull something flat. You know, we've been using ratchet straps. You can see some ratchet straps hanging down over here to kind of twist things and uh, get them into straight, and then you're nailing it in. If you ever uh, approach a project like this and, you know, you jump into it and you don't anticipate the idea that, you know, lumber's not always straight, it can be very, very frustrating. But if you understand that this is just part of the process, things aren't always straight, and you have to have techniques for kind of bending them back into shape, uh, then, you know, you won't feel so depressed when you're in the middle of it and everything. But I think we've got a good chance of uh, finishing up. It's only 2 o'clock. Just got a few more of these uh, floor joists to put up. And then, uh, you know, I, I, I'll be good to be autonomous and start putting up all this decking. That'll be all shady in there, which will be kind of a treat into itself. That's it. Thanks for watching.